from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. Hello, I'm Jim Patton with his 10 News update. A building on fire collapsed on two firefighters this morning in El Cajon. Both firefighters were taken to the hospital. Happened about 3.30 this morning. This is exclusive video here. Fire crews cutting a hole in the building to attack that fire when that attached garage there you see fell on two crew members. Rest of the team able to pull that wall, that wall off of the two. And they are both part of Heartland Fire. The family who lives in the home was also able to make it out safely. Officials now investigating the cause of that fire. County officials also warning that we will likely see a surge in cases here in San Diego and health officials already taking steps to try to avoid overwhelming hospitals. UC San Diego has a nurse triage line set up to help screen the calls from patients who think that they may have the coronavirus. That way they can direct them uh, what to do next based on their symptoms. And today we're expecting to hear what the county has done with the state to make sure that hospitals in our area are prepared. International team of scientists trying to find treatments for the coronavirus. 10 News interviewed Erica Holman Sapphire back in 2014 when she was helping formulate drugs to fight Ebola. Well, now her lab at the La Jolla Institute just got $1.7 million from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation to do the same for COVID-19. Team says it hopes to be in clinical trials by June. Feeding San Diego launching drive through meal pickup sites across the county in order to maintain social distancing. Free hot meals are available for children Monday through Friday. Meals are meant to be kid friendly and nutritious. The need for food during this pandemic is rising with schools closed. Many kids are not getting their daily meals. There are sites across the county from National City to San Marcos and Oceanside all available this week. Let's get a check on our weather now. Megan, how are we doing? Today is going to be the warmest day of the week. We are going to see more high clouds streaming across the county compared to yesterday, but that's not going to stop our temperatures from warming nicely. Mid to upper 60s along our coast and a few low 70s. Mid to upper 70s inland with 60s in the mountains and 80s in the deserts. We are going to see more clouds uh, hover along our coastline tomorrow and Thursday with a deeper marine layer. Temperatures will be in the 60s into the weekend at the coast. Highs will be in the 70s again tomorrow inland except for low 70s and then 60s on Thursday and could see a slight chance for a light, few light showers Sunday and Monday. Jim? Overall, it just sounds pleasant, nice, love it. All mm -hmm. right, Megan, thank you. For the latest news, weather, and traffic, go to 10news.com or download our free 10 News app in your app store. For 10 News, I'm Jim Patton.